Well, hello everyone. Now, I know it's been a while since I made a video, but I have still been getting messages from you guys, and one question that keeps coming up is a question about using snubbers, snubber capacitors, or snubber circuits on IGBTs. So, today, I think I should make clear to you guys about what a snubber actually is. Now, I know a lot of you are assuming that a snubber capacitor just grows across an IGBT bus, the DC bus that is. So they can be used that way, metal film capacitors can be used that way, but that's not what an actual snubber is. And today I'm going to show you what an actual snubber is and what it does and why you might or you might not want to use one. So as I was saying, an actual snubber or snubber capacitor usually is in parallel with a switch and in this case it would be an IGBT and yes as I said there there are metal film capacitors that can be in parallel with the DC bus but in some extraordinary circumstances you can use a snubber directly across an IGBT or MOSFET or any switch for that example as shown in this diagram so I'm going to show you guys what happens when you use one and in what situation you may need to use one. Okay, so this is my setup I'm going to show you guys. So we have a 12 volt battery, 18 amp hours, and it has a relatively low internal resistance of 23 milliohms. So the peak current is going to be quite high considering the load it's just a short piece of copper wire. The IGBT is a CM300 PowerX IGBT and we're using HCPL3120 gate driver with a 2 ohm resistor. Yes, I know that is too small, but for this experiment it's going to help me show you what I need to show you. And we're tracing the gate and we're tracing the collector and emitter of the IGBT in question. So as you can see, when you switch off a high peak current, very quickly you get a very large voltage spike and that's to be expected as the peak current in this situation is in excess of 500 amps. Now I'm not melting the copper wire because the duty cycle is very low. It's only on for a very short period of time and then it's right back off. But nonetheless, we still get a high turn off voltage spike because of the high current and that excites the inductance inside of the IGBT. So in this case, a metal film capacitor across the bus bars would help, but it wouldn't do enough to quench that spike. Now if you notice up in this right hand corner here, this is a bus voltage and the oscilloscope's got 20 volts per division, so we're getting six times the bus voltage as a turnoff spike and that's not good. So the snubber capacitor will help us eliminate that, and I'll show you how. So, this is a capacitor we'll be using. It's a 2 microfarad metal film capacitor. And as I said, I could place it across the bus between there and there, but that wouldn't really do much. But what I'm going to do is place it across the IGBT, which is doing the switching, which would be across this terminal and this far terminal over here and I'll show you guys what happens. Okay, so this is without the capacitor in place. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use the capacitor across the IGBT that's switching the load current. Not across the bus, but at, across the actual IGBT. So you can see it quenches the turnoff spike pretty well, but of course there are, there are drawbacks. The main drawback is the capacitor has to be able to deal with high currents because as you might have guessed the capacitor charges when the IGBT turns off and discharges when it turns on. So the peak current in the capacitor is going to be very high. So if you're going to use this you might want to consider putting a resistor in series. Uh, and that would be an RC snubber circuit. So this is a diagram of the RC snubber. 
resistor in the capacitor in series acting as a snubber connected to a MOSFET and its associated load. And the resistor allows the capacitor to still absorb the turnoff voltage spike without producing very high currents as the resistor is going to limit the current. So the question I've been getting is should I use a snubber and what value? Well it's a kind of a hard question to answer without knowing the specifics about everything in the application but I will tell you this if you are switching off at a very high speed and in a very short amount of time and you're switching off a large amount of current and you've done everything you can to reduce the inductance of the bus and you still get a nasty turnoff spike it might be worth considering and again I say the value it'll be, it's hard to say without knowing the specifics but these two microfarad capacitors really seem to do the trick for just about any size load and you saw in the video we were switching off probably about 500 amps peak maybe but experiment and find out the best way really is to get an oscilloscope so you can see what's happening when the IGBT turns off because otherwise you're kind of just going in blind but that's going to be all for today guys and I thank you for watching and I know that I haven't done a video in a long time but life's been kind of crazy and a little bit hectic but I'm still reading all your comments and messages it might take me a while but I'll get to them and I thank you guys for subscribing and once again, thanks for watching.